tonight I want to talk about one area in particular and one that we're, we're very fond of because we've, we've worked it and specialized in it for so long. There are two towns called Fairview and Lucas, Texas. Uh, let me get you acclimated where they are, and then I'll tell you a little bit about these towns. If you take, this is downtown Dallas here, if you take 75 North all the way up through Richardson, Plano, Allen, right after Allen, you'll run into Fairview. For many years, people didn't even know Fairview was there. It was a, a very small town with, there was no commercial and there wasn't even a sign on 75 telling people that it, it was there. So even people who lived here in Allen, uh, didn't know what was right across the street from them. But when all this development came in right here called Fairview Town Center and all this development here within Allen called the Village at Allen came in, uh, this area started being become well known around uh, at least this part of the Metroplex. Uh, by the way, this is uh, the, what I'm showing here on, on Google Maps. I want you to look and notice uh, Stacy Road here separates these two towns of Fairview up here and Allen. And Lucas is located uh, right here. So you got Lucas, Fairview, and Allen. Now as you're looking at this, this map, it's, it's hard to tell from the ground, but looking at it with an overlay like this, you can see. Notice how all this is high density, lots of homes on on, on on these properties you might have four or five homes on an acre and look how this land opens up over here in Lucas and and Fairview I'm gonna zoom in so you can see how big these lots are these are these are pretty good size homes four to five thousand feet most of them on one to two acre lots uh, Fairview has a restriction. They're trying to make all of their lot new. Well, most of their zoning is two acres now, what's left, and there isn't much left in Fairview. Lucas is the same way. They're they're keeping everything at a couple couple acres. Now that does that's for a couple of reasons. First of all, the towns do not want to look like Allen. That's just a different uh, look and feel. They they want the open land. Uh, you'll notice the, the subdivisions out here, the newer ones, they don't allow stockade fencing. You know, it's all uh, wrought iron or, or open fence. So it, they want that country feel. But the, the townspeople of Fairview want to keep it country, and uh, that's one of the reasons that uh, this is all big lots. The second reason for both Fairview and Lucas is even if a developer wanted to come in and create a high density uh, development, you can't do it. Uh, the Collin County, because there is no public sewer, and, and with a couple of exceptions within Fairview and Lucas, every home has its own uh, private wastewater treatment plant, just like the, the, the one, in fact, the one over here serves, uh, that's the w wastewater treatment plant that serves all the way through Allen. So these many wastewater treatment plants on these very expensive homes uh, is, is um, they're monitored four times a year. They are out of sight, out of mind, and it's not what people think of the old days of septic systems. But anyway, you have to have at least one acre of, of land uh, in this area of Collin County for those to work properly. So that, along with the town townspeople wanting to keep these homes on big lots, that's those are the reasons that uh, these two towns developed the way that they did. So... Taking a look here, high density, high density, and really right at this line, um, right there, you can see how it changes. And then it goes back to um, homes on big lots, big acreages, all the way over to, and then we'll take it to Lake Levon. This is Lake Levon. Lake Levon, it's nice because, first of all, if you go water sports, it's right there, but also, uh, 
it, it, because there's no development underneath here and very little development over here, really, there's, it's dark on this side, uh, when you, uh, east of Fairview and Lucas. So the nights are darker. Uh, Fairview, especially, it's called the dark skies. They have a dark skies policy that uh, they, they're uh, cognizant of throwing light up into the atmosphere. They, they, uh, developers have to keep light at a certain, it can only be a certain intensity and it has to point down rather than up, which I've always liked about Fairview. So it's not like being out in the country, but as close as you're going to get right in the middle of all of this sprawl coming through the, through this area. By the way, this is called the Golden Corridor between Preston Road, which is right here, and 75 Dallas is growing all through here. So Fairview got caught in it, but it's basically rolled over Fairview already. And because we have these big lots in Fairview and Lucas, uh, we're less impacted, although development is is very, very active out here. There just isn't a lot of, lot of it left. If you're curious about where McKinney Airport is, it's right there. Um, that has, was a very hot topic and has been over the years. Uh, it is a it basically private use. Um, there are some companies that have their jets out there, but it's, it's not like anything you're going to see at, at DFW. And I, I don't, I, you know, it's hard to say there, it will be expanding, but I don't see it as a, uh, it'll always remain a feeder. I don't think it will ever become a, a problem, a, a nuisance. Um, so the first thing about this area again is the lot sizes. The second thing you have to understand about this area is, uh, there's, there are six school different districts that serve these two towns. Fairview has about 8,000. Lucas has about 8,000. I don't know if there's another town out there and there, there may be of 8,000 people that has six different school districts within it. Uh, but and it's it's not a tremendously large area to have six different school districts, but uh, it is. You've got to know what you're doing out here. We sold a home one time where uh, the the buyer thought he, he actually closed on. I thought he was going to be in one school district. He'd already got his plans and started construction on the home. And the day before the home started up, the superintendent called him and said, I just want to make sure you know you're not in this school district. And he ended up selling his property. So it can happen. You have to really work with an agent that understands this area. So uh, there's, there are two different school districts that serve Fairview. And there are six different school districts that serve Lucas. In Lucas, you've got, uh, let's see, McKinney ISD, Lovejoy ISD, Plano ISD, Allen ISD, Wiley ISD, and Princeton ISD. Um, the biggest draw out here is Lovejoy ISD. And I'm going to talk about that because that is... Um, that's that's the main attraction for people wanting to move up here. Uh, Lovejoy is one of the top three school districts in the entire state of Texas, uh, per the Texas Education Agency. It's a uh, every every year every school within the district has the highest ratings. It's as close to a, a as a private school as you can get and be public. In fact, we have sell homes every year to many people that take their kids out of private schools or take them out of another highly rated school district to, to come into Lovejoy ISD. So that is a, a big drawing card and those lines kind of for Lovejoy meander all through this area. I just ran a report for homes in within a Lovejoy ISD for under 500,000, which I'll share with you in a second. But uh, that's, that's the, the big uh, question. Can someone be in a home under 500 out here? And I'll show you that you absolutely can. So uh, another, this is Country Club Road that comes through here. Uh, that's kind of the, um, uh, oh, I guess it's not even a feeder. It's a, it's a two lane road. Uh, but it it is kind of the main thoroughfare for everybody going north and south, and they usually take Stacy Road over. Uh, so Stacy has gotten busier through the through the years. Uh, they've just uh, completed expansion on it, and then Stacy dead ends here into Country Club. It picks up again over here, and then you can follow it all the way out. And then there's a back road up to McKinney Airport and McKinney. 
Um, so one of the important landmarks is this street right here. And this is called, on this side, it's called Meandering. And on this side, it's called Angel Parkway. This road separates Lovejoy ISD here from McKinney ISD here. There are, there are um, more affordable homes, especially if you there's a new subdivision coming in called Apples Crossing right up here within McKinney ISD, and those are going to be, uh, those are those homes are under 500,000, new construction, and we haven't had anything like that in Fairview for, for a long time. Um, let me show you, let me drag this over here. I'm going to show you, I went to the MLS and ran a report for all the homes that have sold in Lovejoy under $500,000 over the past six months. And as you can see, there's only 20 of them. I'm actually live on the MLS right now. Now, that's not a lot of homes. So 20 families have gotten into Lovejoy under 500K. That's excluding Heritage Ranch, which is, does not allow kids and is high density residential. Um, but these, these are the homes that have sold. And you'll see with all of these, without exception, they're either an older home and a small, a 30 or 40 year old home on an acre or two, or they're gonna be a newer generation home, maybe 10, 15 years old on a smaller lot. But out here, you cannot get a newer generation home on a big one acre lot. So just, just rule that out. But if you, to me, the best deals to be made out here are buying an existing home that may be 15, 20, 25 years old, and you go in and uh, renovate, update the home, and you've, you've built value rather than buying existing value. That's where you're going to get your, your best bang for the buck. Uh, going down here, you can see these square footages on these homes, really pretty, very, pretty small. And some of these, it's almost based on the, uh, the land value only. The, some of these will be, in fact, we have one, we're going to sell one here pretty soon. We've already had one where the home's going to be scraped. That's starting to happen now in Fairview and Lucas. So the trade-off is a newer home on a, uh, a um, maybe a little bit larger home with a smaller lot or an older home uh, with acreage that's going to take some real updating. Uh, the most popular price point out here is seven to eight fifty, seven hundred eight fifty. So if you go, if you can stretch your budget to that, there will be uh, many more opportunities. And if you go above that into the million dollars, which you think, well, you know, that's a lot of money, but is a million dollars a lot of money anymore? I don't even know the w the way prices are going up. The median price of homes coming up in Fairview right now, out of the ground, is right at a million dollars. So where do you find these homes? Well, I highlighted the areas that, that I think uh, you're going to, in fact, we've got uh, one of those homes coming up here, getting listed here in Bell Grove. Uh, these homes tend to sell very quickly. Small lots, um, newer generation homes, not brand new, maybe 15, 20, but, but not 30 and 40, like some of these over here on the, on the Lucas side, the older homes. Um, Bell Grove is a great opportunity. Uh, so is Stacy Ridge Estates right next to it, and so is Country Brook. The, the, 
uh, the unusual thing about this, this is actually the city of Allen, but it's in the Lovejoy ISD. It's the only area in Allen within Lovejoy ISD. So these three subdivisions are a good place. If you don't have to have extra land around you, you can buy some of these homes or on bigger lots, but they also are more expensive because, uh, again, everybody knows the value of the land. That's one place you're going to find it. And the second place would be down here in Lucas and uh, the Commons of Camden and the uh, Seis Lagos. Now, Seis Lagos is actually split into two school districts. The, this side, the northern side, is Lovejoy, and the southern side is Wiley ISD. So not all of, of Seis Lagos is in Lovejoy. But you still can find it's going to be a, a, it'll be a bigger lot, maybe a half-acre lot, and it'll probably be an older home. Well, it will be an older home. Uh, but you can still find a great subdivision here. It's a guarded and gated community, great family neighborhood. This is a wonderful a place to raise a family and right next door to it is it's called the commons of camden those homes are because they're tied into this municipal utility district they have their own uh, sewer system uh, these are high density homes here uh, this area this area and right in here that's where you're going to find uh, your homes under 500 if you don't require an acre of land the rest of the area, it's just, you know, it's going to be a 30, maybe 35-year-old home on an acre or two. It's just going to take some updating if you're looking for a more modern home. But that the, the, that's where you're going to pick up your best deals. So anyway, we'd love to help you if you are looking to buy a home out here or if you're selling a home. We've led this area now, our team has, for the past 20 consecutive years so uh, we can we can spot a, a good fair deal when we see it and uh, we will uh, do our best to protect your interests and uh, we hope you'll give us a call if we can help you in any way thank you